Hey everybody, welcome back to VGC Regulation H, where today I have decided to become the villain of the Regulation H ladder. Now obviously we're going to be playing on low ladder because it's a very silly team and it's actually uh, pretty hard to pull off on the higher part of the ladder where everybody is just running uh, Goldengo. <laughs> Goldengo is not like a, like a silver bow for this team, it just makes it really awkward because Make It Rain is such a strong spread move. Um, it's really hard to get around. But basically here we're going to be playing some minimized Driftblim strategies. It's a very funny minimized Driftblim strategy. And if you get it set up, it's very hard for you to lose the game unless your opponent just literally has some sort of silver bullet answer to you. Let's look at the team. Oh, also, did you know that you could make an animated GIF, the uh, the background of Showdown? Isn't that really fun? Um, yeah, so the basic idea of the team here, we have our minimized drift limb, running Psychic Seed with Emburden, so we can be really fast and be really bulky. Minimize, Strength Sap, Nightshade, Will-O-Wisp. Strength Sap's really cool, you get back a lot of HP from things, but... Um, it's kind of weird on Drift Bloom because Drift Bloom is such a high HP stat naturally that you don't get back as much as like other Pokemon that use Strength Sap do. It feels a little less strong on Strength, on, on Drift Bloom, but it's fine. Nightshade for our main damage, and if there are any normal types out there, any physical attackers who want to just do less damage, we also have Will-O-Wisp. Um, Indeedy, Redirection, Psychic Terrain for our Psychic Seed, Heal Pulse to heal us up. Heal Pulse does not do an accuracy check, which is really nice. Glamora, we can set up, um, you know poison it's it's good for strategies like this where it's going to take a long time um but it's also just a really good attacker it's really really good in a sun teams and uh, eruption is another one of those things where it's just a really strong spread move um if it catches you and it doesn't miss or you don't have any burdens up yet you're just kind of gonna go down to it carbink is the the uh the sauce here okay hear me out we have guard split carbink guard split carbink um, basically makes it so our Drift Limb has the equivalent stats of a Pokemon that has base 140 HP with max investment, and then like base 80 defense and base 80 special defense also with max investment, which is very, very funny. It makes Drift Limb extremely, extremely bulky, um, which is great because that's exactly what you want here. So not only will they have a hard time hitting us, but they'll have a hard time KOing our Drift Limb if they do hit it. Um, barring any like critical hits or anything. Running Sturdy is the ability just because carving's really slow. Um, it's also really nice for like reversing Trick Room if, to have Sturdy. But also we're running Endeavor. So we get knocked down to 1 HP and we can click Endeavor into things and they will have 1 HP left. And Driftblim will just click Nightshade and they will die. Um, it's a very, very cool Pokemon for this kind of strategy. We have Gallade. Gallade's just a good like physical attacker for us. I'm not running a Nature. I'm pretty sure I was running it. Wow, I also have Leftover... What? What happened with this spread? What happened with this spread? What? Something happened here. Something definitely happened here. Okay. I don't know what happened here, but I fixed it. <laughs> Something must have just not saved. Um, Gallade is just a really good, just like attacker to take care of things. It gets rid of normal types, which we, which our Drifblim will struggle into sometimes. Um, but it also just has like so much coverage. And I'm running Assault Vest, which means that any Goldengos that come around are going to do, like, basically no damage to our Gallade. Any Sun teams that come around are going to do basically no damage to our Gallade because its special defense is so high with this Assault Vest. And then we have Amoongus, Citrus Berry, Regenerator. I don't think I've ever brought this Amoongus to a game. Is that bad? I don't know. I, it's just a fun team, honestly. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and jump into some battles. As always, guys, if you enjoy this video, make sure that you leave me a big fat like and you go down to the comments and type something in the comments, even if it's just the word something. Um, all of the comments and likes push the video to all of the peoples, and I cannot grow unless you help me push the video to all the peoples. And on that note, if you want to see me grow, go ahead and click subscribe. We play fun and funny teams all the time. It's kind of my favorite thing to do is to make really stupid teams on Pokemon Showdown. Um... And honestly, the YouTube meta kind of favors playing stuff in game. So if you want to help me out so I can just make more stupid things on Showdown and just, you know, subscribe, that would be great. Okay. All right. Um, this this is looking pretty uh, pretty lit for us. Everybody forgets that Carbink is a fairy type. And for whatever reason, everybody ends up clicking Dragon Claw into Carbink, and I don't know why. Um, Pelipper could be a problem just because Hurricane cannot miss in the rain. But I think we can work through it here. I think we're going to be okay. Mm-hmm. Garchomp, High Dragon. Okay, great. Perfect. Um, Let me think about this here. They're probably going to, like, Earthquake or whatever. I'm going to Minimize. I'm going to Terra Fairy. I'm going to Minimize. I'm going to go for the Guard Split. 
they swords dance. They know what's up immediately. They said, if I'm only going to be able to hit you once, I'm going to hit you once. Okay. Well, I got off the guard split, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm going to go for the second minimize. And I'm going to click Endeavor into this Hydragon. Paraground Earthquake. They missed Drift Limb. It's amazing. We go down to 1 HP. I want to see Hydragon click a move into Drift Limb and miss. It's Heat Wave. It doesn't miss, but that's okay. So now we get Ndidi, now we get Unburdened. Um, I'm gonna go for a Will-O-Wisp on Garchomp, and I'm just gonna protect Ndidi. Because honestly, Hydreigon really can't do that much damage to us. It doesn't even look like it's Scope Lens right now. I really wish I'd gotten the Endeavor off, um, but I they went for spread moves. Can't really do much about that. We get the Will-O-Wisp, which is amazing. Now, not only can this Garchomp not hit us, but it, cannot, it can't do any damage either. <laughs> um, huh. I guess I'll get the last Minimize up, and let's just Psychic Garchomp. They're probably going to start Swords Dancing. No, they actually just go for another Earthquake. They do very little damage. They miss Heat Wave on both Pokemon. Man, this guy is having a bad day. All right, great, perfect. I'm going to go for the Strength Sap and just Protect and D to this turn. Get back a all of my HP, basically. And they're clear amulet, which is actually just amazing for us. So I'm going to go ahead and Nightshade at Hydreigon. It's the scariest Pokemon on the field. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a four hit KO, which is... It's going to be a four hit KO on most things. It's fine. Um, yeah, I'm just going to double Hydreigon here. They can't really Terra, so... I think we can win this game. As long as nothing stupid happens, I think we just win this game. I mean, obviously, a Last Respects could be scary, but I think we'll be okay. Yeah, that's that sucks. <laughs> we are already just Drift Limb, guys. All I can do is click Nightshade every turn. Eventually, Garchomp will just die. And like I said, I don't think it's really doing a whole lot of damage to me, even if it, you know, it can't really hit me. They might just scoop, honestly. If I were them, I might consider it. All right, Hydreigon's gone. Garchomp hits us. Whoa! Whoa! Hey, 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 hey. That's fine. Uh, wait, it's actually not fine. That's actually very not fine. Because that means they can redirect our strength sap. Which means another Earthquake Landing KOs us, I think. Unless their Ndidi isn't zero attack, but Pokemon Showdown literally just makes you zero attack. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Um, hmm. I also can't hit this Ndidi with Nightshade. I want to get the strength sap off. I feel like protecting is... They should really just Earthquake every turn. Unless this Ndidi doesn't have Follow Me for some reason. This Garchomp is very scary right now. Helping Hand? Okay, well, I'm going to get all my HP back. And then you're going to miss. And you're going to KO your own Ndidi. <laughs> um, um, what I want to do is Will-O-Wisp back to Legion. I don't think a Last Respects comes close to KOing us right now. But if I get that Will-O-Wisp off, it definitely doesn't. It looks like I didn't lose this turn, so... Why did you go for Dragon Claw, you idiot? Everybody just, like, panics and starts clicking Dragon Claw. I don't understand. <laughs> Everybody panics and starts clicking Dragon Claw. I feel like this happens so often on this part of the ladder. Yeah, that's not that's not enough, dude. I'm gonna just Strength Sap just in case, because a crit will knock me out. Well, I don't think a crit knocks me out anymore. I'm gonna just Nightshade. Get some damage off. Damn, how did you hit that three times in a row? I mean, Nightshade just does it now, but Jesus. That's the kind of luck that people need to win. They need to, like, just hit every single turn. There we go. We did it. We got a good Drifling game. I'm so happy. I mistakenly tried to play this on my main account, which is, very, which is like, kind of a lot higher on the ladder, and it did not work out for me. All right, let's see here. Um, Psy Spam is kind of scary, but it should be okay. I think... Well, it kind of depends. If I think they're going to click follow me, then I don't want to lead. Uh, you know. You get it. I think what I'm going to do is... Hmm. I think I'm going to go Glamour. I think I don't lead Drifblim here. I don't think leading Drifblim gets me anywhere. Um. I don't know. Maybe they're stupid. Maybe we just lead Drifblim anyway. Maybe it'll just be okay.
Yeah, that's kind of what I figured was going to happen. I'm going to just go for the Minimize. Um, I mean, I kind of feel like they might not follow me. Like, what reason do they have, you know? They're not in any danger. Unless they think Driftlinger's taunt or something, which I'm pretty sure it doesn't. <sighs> if I get off the guard split, then I just kind of win. I think, because even Helping Hand... I mean, they're just going to click Helping Hand Expanding Force every turn once they have Trick Room up. Which, these kinds of people are usually the ones that get the most mad. I don't know why. They're like, man, your strategy sucks. It's so stupid. I'm just like, you literally just click Helping Hand Expanding Force every turn. It's like you didn't even try. They're taking their sweet time, too. I'm starting the timer. They went for Follow Me. That sucks so bad. I just Guard Split onto their... I mean, does it really matter? Because, like, you know... But, um, I'll do this. Yeah, I'm going to do this. Well, I'm actually going to be, oh, not slower than that. Yeah. Great. Perfect. One HP and DD. I do lose Carbig, which is kind of really unfortunate. Uh, okay. Uh, actually, I think I just lose. Unless Expanding Force misses, I think I just lose. It does miss. Well, we'll take it. Goodbye, Ndidi. Alright. I feel a little bit better, but I don't feel great. Um, I don't feel great. We need another Expanding Force miss, probably. We're in kind of a precarious spot. Also, probably Torkoal comes in. Oh, Ursulina Blood Moon, who can't miss. Oh, I really don't like that. Well, what do we do? I guess we just go for this, right? Can't really do anything else. They missed the expanding force. Hey, that's pretty good. Hyper voice is next. Hyper voice hits both. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a win. You got it. Um, dang. <laughs> what could I have done better? I mean, I really, I don't know. The Ndidi is just kind of, that, that lead specifically was just kind of hard to deal with if they were going to click follow me turn one. If they don't click follow me turn one, it's it's pretty it's pretty easy to deal with. Alright, I have I know from experience that even Salt Cure can't can't beat us. Um, but what can beat us is Annihilate stuff. Maybe. I think this is our lead still though. Technically with Annihilate and King Gambit, we have like infinite HP. Ooh, interesting. Okay, I'm gonna minimize. I'm gonna guard split, and I guess we're just gonna get salt cured. I can't do anything about it. Unless they miss. Oh, they salt cure Carbink. That's great. That's perfect. Um, I'm going to Terra Fairy, click Minimize, switch to Ndidi so I can't be Encored, and we should be just fine. And we can get Carbink in later to endeavor some things for us. Being Terra Fairy here is probably preferable because Kowtow Cleave doesn't do an accuracy check either. There's a surprising amount of new moves this gen that don't do accuracy checks, to be honest. Like, they made a lot of moves this gen that don't do accuracy checks. Ha ha. Ha ha. And you missed the salt cure. Ha ha. Um, I'm just gonna psychic Whimsicott. I really, like I said, I'm not too scared of getting salt cured. Like, yeah, I'll have to take the damage, but it's really not that bad. In fact, even... Oh, they just moved less than DD. I'm just gonna double in DD. Well, I was hoping that'd be closer to two hit KO, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, let's do as much damage to... Whoa, hey. Okay, yeah. Let's do as much damage to Mr. Salt Cure over here as we can. That's a little bit. It's not quite a four-hit KO. All right, yeah, that's that's lit. All right, great, perfect. I'm going to go for Will-O-Wisp on King Gamut because I need it. And... You know, honestly, I might just Psychic. I missed. I think a Psychic almost KOs. Yeah, almost. They did get the salt cure off. Good job, dude. Honestly, props to you. Um, well, we definitely just nightshade here, and I can just body press King Gambit. I mean, if they have a steel type attack, they'll knock me out. But they could switch. I really would like to get a Will O Wisp down. Do they have recover? If they don't have recover, are they throwing? I think this is better. Let's do this. Huh? Cuss that berry. Huh? Huh? 
I missed two will o wisps. I have missed two will o wisps on this uh, on this King Gambit. That really kind of makes me sad. I really need to get it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, guys. The Whimsicott's here. Uh. All right. Well. Can do. I'm gonna go for an endeavor. Oh, they protect. They go for the taunt and they miss. Taunt does an accuracy check, which is pretty great. Okay, Nightshade. Um, they can still Terra. They can still Terra, but I should be faster. So we're gonna go for this. It'd have to be like Terra Flying King Gambit, which, I mean, if it's Terra Flying King Gambit, there's nothing I can do about it. <sighs> Tailwind's fine. Sucker Punch is fine. You're just gonna let me KO both of your Mons? You're crazy. Why would you do that? What's your last Pokemon? Annihilate. Okay. I need to Strength Sap. I mean, there's really nothing. There's really no way around it. I'm gonna give them an attack boost, but I need to Strength Sap. I, I'm faster with this Annihilate if it's not max speed, basically. Where They get an attack boost, but I go back to full HP. Rage Fist. Okay. We gotta get the Will-O-Wisp off. I can win this. It's just gonna not be very fun. Ooh, okay. That Rage Fist is gonna get very strong very fast, and there isn't a whole lot I can do about it. I just have to, to win. I just have to... They just have to miss enough times for me to win. How much did the Nightshade do? Ooh, okay. With the burn, we need, like, three more, I think. And the Tailwind's gone, which helps a little bit. Okay. Drain Punch, I feel like, is a weird move to be clicking right now, but it looks like I just win. They can't do anything about it, because... Yeah. Goodbye! Even with the Salt Cure, baby! Even with the Salt Cure! <laughs> oh, this strat's so stupid. It's it's not very easy to pull off, but when you get it, it's just so fun. Sand teams are very annoying. Um, I think I just lose this straight up, but let me see if I can do something about it. I'm gonna go for... I don't think we do Driplin stuff here. I don't think there's anything I can do with Driplin that's going to help me. I think we go... I think we do this. I don't think Driplin is going to win this here. Oh, that Clefable is dastardly. Alright, I can get a Trick Room up, probably. Probably I can get a Trick Room up. And then I can Endeavor Clefable next turn. 49. I'm not minimum speed on my Amoongus. All right, this is the play. Terra Steel, follow me. That's great. Perfect. Woohoo! Endeavor. <laughs> uh, they do knock out me with another Make It Rain. Let me think. Oh yeah, I ate my Citrus Berry. Jesus, that's a stupid Goldengo. I think we should do this. Yep, Endeavor. Goodbye, Clefable. And now we do this. And I think we can do this. I think Sacred Sword knocks out Goldengo. I know that Night Slash usually doesn't, but we have the Terrain. We will have we get Stab on Night on Sacred Sword. It's I think it's a stronger move, and we get Stab on it. I I that was that was how my Clefable went down. I might be kind of mad. Um, yeah, I think we just follow me here, and we just Sacred Sword something. Unless they have Bramble Gas in the back, nothing wants to eat the Sacred Sword. Yeah, yeah, GG, dude. G G. This is definitely specs. Um, I don't think I lose my Gallade to an Iron Head. If I do, I'll just lose, I guess. Oh, I can just Terra Water too. Nope. Come on. Psychic to break Sash potentially. Sacred Sword the Goldengo. Cool. We break the Sash. Cool. We KO Goldengo. Yeah. There's nothing you can do about it. I'm not gonna go for the Heal Pulse even because I feel like you're gonna protect. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta have backup strategies. If you're gonna play a stupid team, you gotta have a backup strategy because stupid teams do really bad and weird things. <laughs> um, I, this might be the last game if it's really long. We'll see. Sneasler can be a little bit of a problem here. Probably so can Smeargle. So like, honestly, we're kind of gonna be flying this one on like blind faith. I might just lose this game. But we're gonna try our best. Let's see. All right, Annihilate Smeargle means it's probably Water Shurik and stuff, right? I really don't like that. Um, so what do I think they're going to do? I kind of think they're going to Water Shurik in and like self-target, like hit themselves, right? So I'm going to switch to Ndidi. 
And I'm going to set up Trick Room. I think that's my best play. Let's see what happens. Oh, they just final gambit carbink? You you fool! You fool! <laughs> um okay, what do we do? What do we do? do, do? Um 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 un 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 They can go for fake out, I guess. I mean I can't stop them from sporing me now. I'm gonna psychic smeargle just to like do some damage. I'll just switch to drift limb. It is what it is. I would like to get psychic terrain back up, but I put it up last turn. We're immune to fake out. We get the Psychic off. Ooh, that's pretty good. That's a spicy meatball. All right, mini minimize, minimize. I think they're probably gonna knock me off. No, they would hammer and DD. That's such a weird play to make. You let me get up. You let me get set up. All right, well, we just go for... Um, we just go for follow me and minimize again, right? It's Terra Dark Throat Chop. I hope you miss. I hope you miss. I hope you miss. Yeah, baby! <laughs> um, They have Grassy Glide. You think they click Grassy Glide? I honestly have no idea. I'm going to go for the guard split because I, I feel like I kind of have to. Um, And I guess I just click Minimize again. Yeah, they go for Grassy Glide. That sucks really bad, but it's okay. Please miss again. Yeah, baby. Now you're playing with Super Power. All right, so we have to Sacred Sword. Um, and I'll go for the Will-O-Wisp, I guess. I still have my Psychic Seed, which is kind of rough. Teradark Throat Chop Sneasler is the bane of my existence. I think they just doubled Gallade, actually. Yeah. And I missed the Will-O-Wisp. Oh, boy. Alright, well. Well. It's just Driftblim against the world now. Driftblim, can you win for me? Okay, we get the Will-O-Wisp off, which is kind of great. Let's see if we can't... How much did Woodhammer do? That's so much damage. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to Strength Sap, I guess. Yeah. Am I faster than Rillaboom? I am. They land Woodhammer again. Hmm. That's a problem. They land the Throat Chop this time. We didn't lose, though, so they must have missed Woodhammer. Yeah. Okay. So now we... How much did that do? Another Throat Chop KOs us? That's crazy. That's actually insane. Um, damn, I'm gonna have to make myself vulnerable to getting... Dire Clawed, aren't I? Oh, I'm so glad I did that, but it sucks so bad. They just keep hitting me. Man, that's crazy. Um, I just keep having a Strength Sap here. There's nothing I can do. They land Dire Claw too. Bro really said I am your op today. I don't have the strength up here. We can maybe win this. Okay. All right. Nightshade. Um, it looks like the next one actually KOs after burn. How much did that do? 32%? The Sneezer goes down. Oh, they hit me. Please. Sleep. Oh, man. This Sneezler, bro. Oh. Oh, it looks like I got wood hammered, though. It looks like I'll go down to... No, wait. Maybe... Yeah. But I live? But I live? <laughs> oh, I was so ready to lose. I was so ready to lose. <laughs> All right, well, that's the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's just a really stupid team. I hope you had as much fun with it as I did. The paste will be down in the description if y'all just want to be an absolute menace on the, uh, the showdown ladder today. Tell them Andy sent you. But with that, everybody, make sure you subscribe. My name's Andrew. I'll catch you guys next time. A very special thank you to all of the certified Andela fans, especially the Andela VIPs, including Colton and Cosmic Pharaoh. Once upon a time, man, I heard that I was struggling. Came from a gem where power creep wasn't coming in. Face long, stats tight, defense up, shack height, sturdy on me, sash like. Got the TM last night, hit me with that good move. Make this mountain act right, bast boys, better hit that builder. I know that's right, big bast, but.